Hi, in this tutorial we are going to talk about a uh, partition table uh, in a SQL. Partition table uh, divided data into units by using more than a file group uh, in a database. The benefit is to increase the query performance. As you guys, let me get started here and show you guys how you can partition in your table and what exactly the steps that you have to follow simply I numbered here uh, multiple steps that you can just to follow in sequence so you can partition any table I have one you have to create a file group two you have to create uh, a files and respective of the file group and three you have to create a partition function and then you have to create a partition schema and here you just you want to check your uh, work if it's work fine or no but here the fifth you have to create your cluster index so you have five five steps I'm going to work on a table let me see here um, I have database called curriculum all right in database I have a tables I'm going to work on this table so each database has a file group the file group in default it's a primary the called primary file group what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another file groups so I can partitioning my tables based on the file groups so if you want to create to a partition your tables on based on the date uh, like it says a year so you can here create file groups two three four or whatever if you want to create uh, a file groups by the like departments so you can create a file groups based on the departments here and as much as you want so in order to do that first you have to uh, say alter database your database name and then add file group you have to name a file group called like whatever the name that you want to pick why I choose here four file groups uh, with these names because I'm going to partition my table based on a column called insert date let me show you guys my table what it has Let me say here 12 10 I need it all I just show you all my data they are not too much here I have insert a date so if you guys see here I have here the year as it says 2012 13 14 and 15 so that's why I'm going to partition my table based on the years I can partitioning based on like you know course ID you can say okay from 1000 to uh, 1000 like 40 this is the first part or uh, second part from 1041 1, all the way to 2000 something like that so here where I'm going to use is the inserted date as my uh, like as my column to partition my table based on that on that column so I'll go first to create my file groups if I go here right click to check if my file groups has been created go here this is my file groups I have no files on it so you see here the files are zero I have to create a files here so in order to do that this is my second steps I already create my uh, uh, you know scripts cause it's gonna take time to type it and uh, guys I'm going to paste this uh, script in my description so you can guys using using it in on any table just you know do your proper uh, modification so you can reflect it to your uh, table here is my uh, second uh, step which is I'm going to create files in respective of the file group uh, you have to find out this file path I left it here empty in purpose in order to show you guys how I find out 
this file path you have to add it here under the file name you have to go to your database right click go to properties here my file path under the files control C and come here and control V and forward slash and you have to add your file name under 2012.ndf the ndf is very important to add this uh, suffix called ndf so this is my secret for the first file called this is the name you have to name it and the file path and you have to specify the size and the max size and the file growth and it's uh it's uh this file it's respective unto what file group so each file has own file group i'm going to highlight all my scripts all the way to 2015 there are only four let me see wait okay say it's completed let me go to check if my files have been created i have to close the page and open it again in order to get refresh this is my files that i just created this is the file groups and sorry this is the files and this is the file group see now each one has own file let me now go to the next uh, step which is i have to create a partition function here my partition function i name it i will say create partition function this is the name that you're going to pick and the data type the data type is, I picked is date because my column that I choose to divide it or to partition my table on it has a date data type so that's why I went with date and as range right for values this is my values so now I will go in execute it where you can find it this is your database and go to the storage and go to the partition function this is my partition function now i'm going to create my partition schema so i i can use in using this partition schema later to create my index so my query will be create partition schema this is the name that my partition schema as partition of my partition function to this is you have to start with the primary uh, file group and end it with the primary file group then you have to add all your new file groups that you created already so this is my file groups and then executed this partition function schema has been created and here we go it's right here now I will going to check my work if everything uh, has been uh, created right I'm going to use this script this script you can uh, use in using it on any uh, partition uh, uh, table to check if your work right so see guys I have here the name of uh, partition schema and the name of the partition function is the boundary and I have the value here okay now I will go to create my index in respective of the uh, partition schema by default the any index that you're going to create on your table it's created using the primary file group so if you have I don't have here the index if you have the indexes or any index has been created on your table you have to drop it because it's using the primary file group you have to drop it and then you have to come back again to use this script to create it using the partition schema okay not the primary default uh, file group or uh, primary schema so this is uh that you have to using the partition schema that's it's used the right here it's used 
the file groups that you created the partition file groups not the default file groups so you will say create cluster index this is the name primary key section on this is the name of my table and this is the name of my uh, column on this is the name of my partition schema that I just created right here on the same column right here this being created if I refresh it this is my primary key that's been created now I come here to select anything using my partition uh, uh, script you will say select everything from your table okay where you have to add this script this is your uh, starting with partition as dollar partition dot dot the partition function name and between two parentheses the name of your column that you used and the number that you want to pick this is for five for 2015 if I said four, which is for call only for fourteen. Okay, this is only two thousand fourteen with all the months. And if I say three, it will call for me only thirteen. If I want to call two at the same time, so you say comma, let's say four. So 2013 and 14. So see guys, I have a 13 here and I have 14 here. It's This is very simple ways to uh, partition your uh, table and just follow the steps in sequence and you get to go to partition any table that you want no matter what uh, the size of your table if it has like thousand or even million of records uh, I hope that you guys uh, enjoyed watching my video and uh, see you in the next videos thank you